I think uh, you're right that uh, the, actually the IBC is now fast tracking it. And uh, this resolution, if I may say, has been very successful. And just uh, yesterday, the RBI announced the takeover of another, uh, another NBFC. Two NBFCs of the same group, Shrey, have been uh, taken over by RBI. They've uh, appointed an administrator just as the way they, they did for DHFL. And uh, therefore, I think that it was on the demand of the banks. The banks and the other creditors were happy with the way they uh, got solutions with us. And they want to now repeat this in another acquisition, which uh, in another NBFC. And so th this is going to be actually the forerunner for many more. I can see that. And, and so you've spoken a little bit about the timing of this deal at the start of our conversation. I want to ask you how it correlates with the pandemic risk recovery story in India. Of course, many Indian households of all sizes and businesses have been rocked by the pandemic and, it's, and their spending attitudes have changed as well with regards to whether or not they're going to invest in a two-wheeler or a car. So what has made the timing of this absolutely critical? Uh, whereas, you know, the pandemic after the wave two, the second wave, the economic fallout of this pandemic has not been as much as was expected. And I see that uh, when you, the one way to look at it is, are you getting enough recoveries? And what I'm seeing in the DHFL portfolio, as well as in the Pirama's earlier portfolio, that recoveries have been quite robust, not only for us, but for the entire sector. So there is a, uh, I think that the uh, economy is coming back. Besides this, if you look at it, there is a demand for housing finance, especially for affordable housing. One of the big drivers for this has also been that prices of real estate by and large have remained steady, if not gone down over the last two or three years. And interest rates have come down significantly. So people are lending at lower rates, and I've seen that this is the biggest mover for demand for housing. So would you be looking at making more such acquisitions like you've done with Devon Housing? <clears throat> Our way because it becomes, a, it, it becomes a market share game, sir, you know, when, when you're seeing consolidation step up in the sector. So I, I expect that there will be some consolidation taking place in the sector because I think you began the interview by saying that uh, the NBFCs has gone through stress as far as the last couple of years past COVID is concerned. A lot of them have had issues of financing and also having some bad loans on their side. So I see that uh, there are opportunities, but we will always do. Uh, our, our group has got a history of acquisitions. Until now, they've been successful. And the only way I can say that is if there's a strategic sense to that, if uh, uh, we have enough, you know, bandwidth in our team after DHFL, we would definitely look at it. 